Hi folks, got the uh, spec an on uh, 2 to 30 megahertz. Got some uh, some sort of data going on there. I thought I might try out uh, some of these. A uh, TP Link TLPA211. They're uh, little gadgets that convert the data and stick it over the power. So uh, I'll hold this here and I will plug this in. There it goes. It's 30, 30 to 40 dB over the, um, the noise. So I can imagine why uh, it causes grief on HF. Um, That's interference. I'll plug in the other other end, and this is running a, uh, a two or three megapixel IP camera, so it's spewing out a lot of data um, over here. This uh, IP camera here is hooked up to this end here, which is our uh, other end to a power injector and uh, here is the uh, TP link that's my very technical coupling to the power and uh, there it goes now I'll, I've got the laptop up here and there's me on the IP camera I'll just uh, refresh that see if we can uh, get it going Yes, sir, it's gone crazy. That goes from there to the laptop to my screen up here. And uh, that's what we're getting using probably all 200 megabit right across the spectrum on uh, HF from uh, 2 to 30. It doesn't seem to be jumping anything below 2 megahertz, so it's obviously got a filter or whatever to stop it getting into the broadcast band. But it definitely uh, wipes out HF for sure. Not too bad down there. Uh, a little bit of crap there. Yep, crap. Not too bad. But then again, uh, I haven't tuned the uh, the loop antenna, which is just here, to this frequency. But you get the idea. There you go. There you go. There's some uh, some data bursts. So there you go, a quick uh, demo of uh, the TP-Link versus the Ionosphere. Also got these Belkin ones as well. I'll see what they do. They're uh, really, really old ones. I bought those a thousand years ago. Now these ones here are sort of the latest generation ones that uh, can do a couple of megabit. And uh, I'll just put that there. Copy later.